हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर राधिका गोयल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज टुडे आई एम टेलिंग यू अबाउट चेंज ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम कार्टिजियन टू पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स दैट मींस वेन एवर योर फंक्शन इज गिवन इन कार्टिजियन फॉर्म देन हाउ यू कैन चेंज इट इन पोलर फॉर्म लेट एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई बी ए फंक्शन इन कार्टिजियन फॉर्म Cartesian form means whenever your function is given in the terms of x and y, and this function is defined in the region A, then we know that double integration of this function within the region A is defined as double integration over A, f of x y dx dy. Now we want to convert this double integration in polar coordinates. because sometimes it is very bit difficult to solve this double integration in cartesian form and when we convert this into polar form then it becomes very easy right how you can change it so first of all we convert this function into polar coordinates what do you mean by polar coordinates in polar coordinates and the function is given in the terms of r and theta where r is denoted by for radius vector and theta is the angle of that radius vector with the initial line how we can change we put x as r cos theta and y as r sin theta when we put this value in the function f of x y then this function is become in the terms of r and theta right and then now what is about dx dy dx dy is da noted by dx dy and in the terms of polar coordinates this becomes r b theta dr remember it not d theta dr this is r b theta dr so your double integration will become double integration a f of x y dx dy double integration your reason is saying a f of at the place of x it is r cos theta at the place of y this is r sin theta and dx dy becomes r d theta dr now your double integration will convert in the terms of r and theta now what is about the limits so remember it we also convert the given limits to polar coordinates because at this situation limits are in the terms of x and y but in this case if your limits are in the terms of x and y then you cannot solve this because this is in the terms of r and theta so we also convert the limits of x and y in the terms of r and theta according to your reason uh, so your this total double integration will convert into the polar coordinates and after that we can solve it very very easily you can understand this by a example suppose this is your double integration now we want to evaluate the double integration with the help of changing it into polar coordinates your given question is limits are from 0 to 1 x to root 2x minus x square root x square plus y square dx dy you can see here that this is your function f of x y root x square plus y square dx dy dx dy and these limits give you your reason in which we want to integrate our function now there is no given that what uh, limit 0 to 1 is for x or y this is for x or y we know that if the limits are given in the terms of x then these are limits of y that means limits from y is equals to x to y is equals to root 2x minus x square is limits of y and these are limits of x x is equals to 0 to x equals to 1 that means they are x values are constants and y values are variables so the given reason of integration is 
x equals to 0 to x equals to 1 y is equals to x to y is equals to root 2x minus x square. x equals to 0 is a straight line. x equals to 1 is a straight line. y is equals to x is a straight line. What is about this reason? Now we solve it. This gives y square is equals to 2x minus x square means x square plus y square is equals to 2x. And this will become x minus 1 square plus y square is equals to 1. And from here you can see that this is equation of a circle whose center is 1, 0 and whose radius is 1. So your reason is bounded by 3 straight lines and 1 circle. This is your reason in the Cartesian form. Reason will remain same. Now we convert this reason into polar form. Our circle is x square plus y square is equals to 2x. That is x square plus y square is equals to 2x. In polar coordinates, we know that x is r cos theta, y is r sin theta. So we put x as r cos theta and y as r sin theta is equals to 2x, x is r cos theta. So it will become r is equals to 2 cos theta and you know that this is equation of a circle with diameter 2 and with, uh, which is passing through the origin, right. Now we draw it geometrically so that we can convert our limit very easily. So, in the Cartesian form, our reason is x equals to 0, x equals to 1, y is equals to x and the circle whose center is at 1, 0 and whose radius is 1. Now, geometrically, this is your Cartesian coordinates, x and y, this is your origin, y is equals to x. We know that this is your line, y is equals to it at the center. This is your circle whose center is 1, 0, 1, 0, radius is 1, radius is 1, this is your whole circle. And bounded by reasons x equals to 0, x equals to 1, y is equals to x. Now, we want to know that what is the reason over we want to integrate this function. It may be this, it may be this or it may be this x equals to 0. x equals to 0 means this is our x axis. x equals to 0 means y axis. That means one boundary is this line. Next one is x equals to 1. x equals to 1. This is 1. Now what is about this point? Is this line passing through this point or not? For finding this, we have to solve equation of the circle and equation of the straight line. Equation of the circle is x minus 1 square plus y square is equals to 1. So, when we solve these two curves and we want to find this intersect point, then you can see that this point is 1, 1. So, the line x equals to 1 means this line passing through this intersect point and the center of the circle. So this is your next boundary x equals to 1. y is equals to x means y is equals to x and this one, this one. Now when we see at the limits then you can see that y values of the limits are variable and x values of limits are constant and we know that at this situation when we integrate then the strip is in horizontal form. That means like this. Now our required reason is this or this. For that we have to see this limit. Your strip is starting from y is equals to x and ending at y is equals to root 2x minus x square. That means starting at the line y is equals to x and strip 
ends at the circle that means this region right now you can see that this is your strip starting from this that means your strip is like this this moves like this at the starting this is at the line x equals to 0 at the end this strip is at x equals to 1 now start from y is equals to x y is equals to x and at the circle at the circle so this is our required reason in the Cartesian form, but we want to convert this reason into polar form. Reason will be same. Sorry. This is your line, r is equals to zero. In the polar form, this circle is convert into int r is equals to two cos theta, and we know that this is our circle r is equals to 2 cos theta at this point r is equals to 2 right and this at this point r is equals to 1 y is equals to x this is the line where theta is equals to pi by 2 you know that y is equals to x if y is equals to x is a line into Cartesian form, then this line will transfer in the line, sorry, this and this line is theta is equals to pi by 4. Your required reason is this, we know it very well, this one is reason. Now we want to convert these limits into polar form. So this is your required reason and in polar form we take strip like this. This is your strip. That means this is our strip. At the initial it is this strip is like this and then this moves like this. Right. So at the initial condition strip is at this it gives values of theta and starting point and end point of the strip will give values of r. So the limits are initially this is like this and at this situation your theta is pi by 4. So starting at theta is equals to pi by 4. At the end this will become like this. And for this situation, theta is pi by 2. So, boundary is theta is equals to pi by 2. Now, what is about the values of r? This strip moves like this. So, starting point of the strip is always at r is equals to 0. So, r values are from 0 to And the end point of the strip is always at the boundary of this circle. And we know that the circle equation is r is equals to 2 cos theta. That means on this circle r value is always 2 cos theta. So r value is 2 cos theta. So these are limits when we convert these limits into polar form. So this will become integration x equals to 0 to x equals to 1. Now theta limits are from theta is equals to pi by 4 to theta is equals to pi by 2. What is about your values of r? r values are r is equals to 0 to r is equals to 2 cos theta. r is equals to 2 cos theta. 